my guy Charlotte is not feeling well and we're running behind. We're a little bit late because she's not feeling well. So she's in there already and now I gotta catch up. Bam Bam, um, so we went to our second appointment and you know, I expressed to you guys, you know, going to the first appointment, I was super nervous because you know, the miscarriage has, uh, has definitely had this pregnancy be different. I gave my perspective on what it's like to like, go to these appointments after the miscarriage and I kind of wanted Charlotte to give her perspective uh, on what it's like for her because she's the one who did the carrying of the last baby and is carrying the baby now. And it's not I did the carrying of all of the babies. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> and this baby's really kicking her butt. Mm -hmm. And yeah. All these babies really kicked my butt, to be honest. Um, but yeah, we went to our eight week appointment. I would say I'm always nervous before my OB appointments, like even with Maddie and Luca. But I would say that's even like more heightened since the miscarriage. So I'm like extra nervous because I just want everything to be okay and healthy and hear the heartbeat and make sure the baby's growing and all that. In addition to it, I've been super, super nauseous. And so like going into the appointment, I was like nauseous, anxious, just feeling really meh, but uh, just really excited to hear the heartbeat and see the baby again. How are you feeling? Are you having a time change? Yep. Awesome. I'm going to turn the lights down. How are you feeling otherwise? Not sure. Yeah, nice and sick. Do you need a, are you okay? Like, I'm fine. Do you think I'll be cool? Yeah. I just want to make sure. No, I already. Already threw up just, Yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> you poor thing. I'm so sorry. Okay. I always feel bad because I'm like, good, but yeah. Yeah. Like, awesome. Not awesome. So here is the pulp gel first. Sorry about that part. A little bit of pressure, okay? When is the date? October 19th. Wow, so that's the baby. Yeah! Head, mm -hmm. arm, arm, leg, leg, and that's a little tail that they have at this age, right? And there's a heart flutter. They have tails? Yeah, they always start, they start pretty goofy. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. I never do that. <laughs> I mean, for me, it's like, I'm like really nervous. Like I wasn't nervous at all during the last appointments with Maddie and Luca, but this one, I'm like, I'm going in there. I feel like you like... weren't nervous because you weren't carrying the baby. So like, I feel like you was kind of like, like ignorance is bliss a little bit. I just feel like when you are like carrying the responsibility of like carrying the child and growing the child within your body, I just feel like, I don't know, I was definitely anxious with the first two pregnancies. Cedric and I just like approach things completely differently. Like he likes to go in and just like see how things are going and get the information at that time. Whereas like I like to know kind of like what I'm walking into. So I like to do a lot of research on the front end. I like to know before walking in and he's like, no, we'll know when they tell us. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're just different. Um, mm -hmm. But I do think women, like carry because they're carrying more of the responsibility during pregnancy. They carry more kind of nerves, like probably both like excitement, like the positive side of things, but also the negative side of things mm -hmm. more. Mm -hmm. Do you agree? Sure. Like, are you excited? Uh, You're not excited? You didn't even give me a chance to answer. Okay, go ahead. 
can I, I, can I answer the question? I think about it. Yeah, I think about my emotions. I don't just answer questions. So, like, am I, am I excited? Um, yeah, I think I'm excited when it comes to think that another baby's going to be here. Yeah, but, like, this time isn't exactly exciting because you're having a hard time and you're sick. And, like I said, I'm doing everything and I'm tired. So, it's not <coughs> that isn't, see, see, that's a guy talking right nauseous. there. Um, that, that. <coughs> So that in ex- that in itself isn't exciting, but I think uh, the baby being here is exciting. Seeing, you know, uh, hopefully a boy <laughs> being here. <laughs> hopefully Can a boy. I say something? Sure. Can I say something? Mm-hmm. Now I don't think anybody means any harm. But everybody's like, oh, I'm praying it's a boy. I hope it's a boy. Keep that energy, by no, the way. No, 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 no. What I want to say is like, who even said that? That's what we're hoping for. Please, like that might, please, <laughs> it might be that what like Cedric's hoping for. But like I grew up with three sisters. Like I was one of three girls, and so like I don't know. I just think it's interesting when people assume like oh they have a girl, so they must want a boy, or they have a boy, so they must want a girl. Like maybe it, I want to be a girl mom. You can have all that. <laughs> I want a boy. Like I ain't gonna lie to y'all. And like I want to make a video later on about like why. It's not like, because here's the thing. If I don't have a boy, will I be sad? Yes. But it's not because of the reasons that people think. If I have a girl, it's not going to make me sad. I'm going to be just as happy as having a boy. That's complex. And I'm going to explain that in a video uh, one of these days. But uh, anyways, we're kind of going all over the place. I just wanted y'all to see Charlotte and know that we are having a hard time <laughs> right now in this season. And we heard the heartbeat and that was good. So I think with these appointment videos, they're going to be more like these kind of sit and talk because yeah but the next one's a big one the baby looked like a baby this time but next time like we could see its little limbs Mm -hmm. but didn't have like hands and fingers but like next time we go it's gonna have all the things Mm -hmm. that's how we got fam bam she's sick she's tired i'm tired but i'm not sick and uh yeah we're gonna do this can you look at our faces and just tell that we're struggling or do we just look good there's only one right answer (laughs) Right. Right, man, man. Much love.